Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through exponents and powers. Today, we're going to solve some more problems based on the laws of exponents. Let's start with an example. Find the solution of 3 raised to 3y minus 5 equals 1 by 9 raised to y. The given expression is 3 raised to 3y minus 5 equals 1 by 9 raised to y. By cross multiplying, we get 3 raised to 3y minus 5 multiplied by 9 raised to y equals 1. Or 3 raised to 3y minus 5 multiplied by 3 square whole raised to y equals 1. We have a raised to m the whole raised to n equals a raised to mn. That is 3 raised to 3y minus 5 multiplied by 3 raised to 2y equals 1. Then by a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n equals a raised to m plus n. We can write 3 raised to 3y minus 5 plus 2y equals 1. That is 3 raised to 5y minus 5 equals 1. We have for any non-zero integer a a raised to 0 equals 1. So we can write 3 raised to 5y minus 5 equals 3 raised to 0. Which implies 5y minus 5 is equal to 0. That is 5y equals 5. Or y equals 5 by 5 equals 1. Let's do another example. Find the value of 3 raised to 2, the whole cube, multiplied by 5 raised to 6, whole divided by 1 by 15 raised to minus 6. In the given expression, 3 square, the whole cube, multiplied by 5 raised to 6, divided by 1 by 15 raised to minus 6. We can write 3 square, the whole cube, equals 3 raised to 2 multiplied by 3, equals 3 raised to 6. By a raised to m, the whole raised to n, equals a raised to mn. So, 3 square the whole cube, multiplied by 5 raised to 6, whole divided by 1 by 15 raised to minus 6, equals 3 raised to 6, multiplied by 5 raised to 6, whole divided by 1 by 15 raised to minus 6. Here by using the law, a raised to m multiplied by b raised to m equals a multiplied by b the whole raised to m then 3 raised to 6 multiplied by 5 raised to 6 whole divided by 1 by 15 raised to minus 6 equals 3 multiplied by 5 the whole raised to 6 divided by 1 by 15 raised to minus 6 equals 15 raised to 6 divided by 1 by 15 raised to minus 6 equals 15 raised to 6 multiplied by 15 raised to minus 6 equals 15 raised to 6 plus minus 6 equals 15 raised to 0 equals 1 that is 3 square the whole cube multiplied by 5 raised 6 divided by 1 by 15 raised to minus 6 equals 1. Let's do another example. Find the value of 
27 multiplied by t raised to minus 4 divided by 3 raised to minus 2 multiplied by 18 multiplied by t raised to minus 8 where t is not equal to 0. The given expression is 27 multiplied by t raised to minus 4 divided by 3 raised to minus 2 multiplied by 18 multiplied by t raised to minus 8. We can write 27 is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 equals 3 cube and 18 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 equals 2 multiplied by 3 square. Therefore, 27 multiplied by t raised to minus 4 divided by 3 raised to minus 2 multiplied by 18 multiplied by t raised to minus 8 equals 3 cubed multiplied by t raised to minus 4 divided by 3 raised to minus 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 square multiplied by t raised to minus 8 equals 3 cubed multiplied by t raised to minus 4 divided by 3 raised to minus 2 multiplied by 3 square multiplied by 2 multiplied by t raised to minus 8. Since a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n equals a raised to m plus n, we can write it as 3 cubed multiplied by t raised to minus 4 divided by 3 raised to minus 2 plus 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by t raised to minus 8 equals 3 cubed multiplied by t raised to minus 4 divided by 3 raised to 0 multiplied by 2 multiplied by t raised to minus 8 we know that a raised to 0 equals 1 then it becomes 3 cubed multiplied by t raised to minus 4 divided by 2 multiplied by t raised to minus 8. Then by the law, a raised to m divided by a raised to n equals a raised to m minus n. We can write it as 3 cubed multiplied by t raised to minus 4 minus minus 8 divided by 2 equals 3 cubed multiplied by t raised to minus 4 plus 8 divided by 2 equals 27 multiplied by t raised to 4 divided by 2 that is 27 multiplied by t raised to minus 4 divided by 3 raised to minus 2 multiplied by 18 multiplied by t raised to minus 8 equals 27 t raised to 4 divided by 2. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. First, find the value of p, if, 4 by 5, the whole cube, divided by, 4 by 5 the whole raised to minus 3, equals 4 by 5, raised to 3p. Second, find the value of 5 square the whole cube, plus 2 by 5 the whole raised to 0, plus 5 raised to 5. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.